What's good YouTube? Welcome back to another video. I hope everybody out there is having a blessed day. So as you see from the title, today we will be taking an early look at a pair of Jordans that are set to release this upcoming May 30th. So these did release early as a shot drop on the sneakers app this past Sunday and it was completely opposite of a shot drop because I swear everybody and their moms knew about this and there was a lot of issues on the app for some people it didn't even load on the app so you didn't even have a chance to get them most people I know checked out on desktop and that's how I checked out but unfortunately I was not able to get my size I actually do want these for personal but I couldn't get my size there was an error so I just started spamming a whole bunch of other sizes and I was able to get through and I hit a size 11 so the label reads Air Jordan 13 retro and the colorway is navy and university blue as you see it comes in the official gray Jumpman box so let's go ahead and take a look at the shoes so here we have the Air Jordan Flint 13 This shoe originally released back in 1998. Since then, it has seen two retros, first being in 2005. Now, honestly, I wanna say back then in 2005, I probably didn't even know what a Flint 13 was. Then in 2010, when this shoe was set to retro for a second time, when I started to see people wear them, mainly my uncle, he I know he used to always wear Flint 13s, and I kinda started liking the shoe but I did not cop them in 2010 because they did not have the 3M on them, which to me is one of the best features on the shoe. So I passed on them then and I figured maybe, you know, they'll release in two, two or three more years with the 3M on them, but nope, it took 10 years for this shoe to finally release to us. Like many other people, I have been waiting and waiting for this shoe to release and between the last maybe the last year or so there's been rumors that this shoe was supposed to release and it never happened so when we finally got a release date i know a lot of people were happy and this shoe i mean like people who aren't your typical sneakerheads will be going after this shoe like i was saying my uncle i have always known him to wear flint 13 so he hit me up he won a pair i got cousins back home in michigan hit me up that they want a pair so People who aren't really, you know, buying shoes all the time are going after these. So it's going to be even more of a demand, especially since everybody's in quarantine and majority of the stores are closed and people sitting at home with stimulus checks. So these shoes are expected to fly. So if you're trying to get them, be on your A game on release day. on to the details of the shoe the main part which I like the most is this navy mesh panel right here which features the 3m as I was speaking about and that is on both sides of the shoe then moving along to the toe cap which features the white leather and that goes all the way up to the tongue on the top of the tongue you have the UNC Jumpman and I want to say it seems like the tongue on this pair is a little bit more sleek and a little bit more small compared to the the retros a couple years back it seemed a little bit more fat and a little bit higher up but overall even the shoe itself it seems a little bit more like slimmer than the last past retros of this shoe on the side of the midsole you got this very soft gray suede which goes down and meets the outsole and on the midsole as well you have these different white pods which features and all comes together with the bottom of the outsole and the outsole is inspired by a panther you know jordan loved panthers and that was the inspiration of this shoe got a little bit of the carbon fiber on the bottom of the shoe right there and then you have a jump man on the blue bubble and then this part right here, probably what the 13s is most iconic for, and boom, look at it. 
that hologram 23 jump man and that mug is hitting fire 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 yo honestly just taking a close look at the shoe I want to say this is probably one of the best retros to release as far as quality wise in a while because I can't really, I don't really see any, looking at both shoes, I, I can't really see anything that I would like say that needs to be fixed. There's no glue stains or anything I don't see and the materials is great. This is a dope shoe. Hopefully you guys out there are able to cop on release day and you should be able to, you know, as long as you handle your business and I already know that some people are going to sleep on these and regret it, but don't let it be you. So hopefully you guys are able to grab a pair on release day on May 30th. With that said, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Okay. So before the video ends, I need to give a big shout out to my boy Ian because without him, the on foot would not be possible. And um, also, yo, shout out to you guys. If you're still watching this video, you a real one. But uh, I just want to say that real quick. So back to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed this video. I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.